We are going to use for loops to make a number line where all the even numbers are one color and all the odd numbers are another color. The easiest way to do this is to use two separate for loops, one to display the even numbers and one to display the odd numbers. To get started though, I'm going to use a for loop um, to display all the numbers. Let's do, um, let's say zero through nine. So I'm going to say for int i, our counter variable, start at zero. Um, I is less than um, 10, so I will stop when it gets to 10, and we're going to count by ones, so I equals I plus 1. Um, and we'll start by filling them in all blue. And display the value of the counter variable. Um, I'm going to use the counter variable at, um, in an algebraic expression to space out the numbers. So I'm going to say i times 50, so they'll be 50 pixels apart. The first one will be when i is 0. That um, number 0 will be um, at 0 on the x-axis. Then um, the number 1 will be at 50, i times 50. The number 2 will be at 100, i times um, 50. Again, 2 times 50 is 100, so on and so forth. We'll put them in the center of the screen. So I'm going to write use i times 50 to space out numbers. And I don't want to forget my close curly brackets. So here the numbers are 0 through 9. Now, if I want to um, get rid of the odd numbers and just have those even numbers, instead of counting by 1s here, I'm going to count by 2s. So change that equation to i equals i plus 2. Now I want a new um, separate for loop to make the odd numbers. To do that, I want to think about what number I want to start with so I'm counting just those odd numbers. So instead of starting with 0, um, which is not per se an even number, but um, once you count by two, you're going to be counting just the even numbers. Instead, I'm going to start that one with one, the first odd number I want to display. Same thing, i is less than 10. I'm still going to count by twos, but if I start with one, all the numbers I'm going to be counting are going to be the odd number. So i plus two. I'll give the odd numbers a different color, fill. And then text, uh, the uh, function will have the same parameters, i, but instead of counting 0, 2, 4, 6, it'll be 1, 3, 5, 7. Still going to space them out the same, so that first one, when i has a value of 1, will be at 50, and then when i has a value of 3, it will be at 150. Same place on the y-axis. And there you have your even odd numbers.